Okay, y'all, man, let's get the intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC the One, baby. LC the One reaction, you dig? AKA, Illmatic One, two, four. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm up dirty is right here on the back of my mother sucking one to spin. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on? Out there, the level y'all living, you did, but hey, man, we back, we back, we back with another reaction video, man. Let me tell y'all, man, this right here is another epic, iconic, epic reaction video, man. Put up and down and everything in the game with these red bands, man. Um, so can y'all dig that with a basketball jack? So, that baby, shout out to the New Orleans Pelicans and the Milwaukee Bucks. You did, yeah. And I cut the music. Now let's get right into this, man. I was trying to. Get this gameplay game uh, uh, time app up on the computer, but when I try to play the videos on here, it won't let me do it because I'm about to start doing the two minute videos uh, like Chris Smooth be doing and stuff like that. I've been did that a long time ago, but I'm coming right back into it. But anyway, man, um, we're about to get right into this gameplay because I got to call SJ in about 20 minutes, so I got to hurry up and condense this down quickly as I can so y'all can get. Um, the, uh, the news on this game right here. This was a very interesting basketball game. I think this was the marquee game of the night because all the stars played in this game. Drew Holiday. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if Chris Middleton played. Because I don't think I really see him. I, I, I didn't see him out there too much. I, I ain't see him out there at all. I don't think. Um, I think. Um, let's see. No, Chris Middleton, he didn't play that game. He did not play that game because I think if he would have played, that probably would have been a. It would have been a different tale of the tape. They don't even have him listed on the roster. So I don't know what's going on right now with Chris Mills. I don't know if he's injured again. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if he went to the D League or something like that. Just to get himself together, get back in shape. But he didn't play that game last night. And that was a very interesting game. That was a playoff type of game. And Giannis and them showed up and they did the, they did what they had to do. Okay, but anyway, let's get back to this game, man. Um uh, let's go with the first game changing moment. It came within uh, eight minutes and 29 seconds left in the first quarter. Six to ten, the Bucks was down. Uh, Giannis brings the ball down on an inbound play and drives left. Okay, he went left with the ball um, straight down the left side of the lane and got a nice little layup uh, um, and gets an end one call. So this started they come back because, like I just said, they was down. Buy a few baskets and stuff like this. So let's get right into this clip so y'all can check it out, man. Uh, very interesting game. Like I said, uh, this was the highlight game of the other night. Last night, uh, the Pelicans versus the. It was a lot of games, but this right here, I think, was the marquee game right here. Because it could, you, could be your potential championship uh, NBA Finals right here. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's take a look. Uh, Giannis, he getting the ball on the inbound. Okay. Bringing the ball down, got them red now lady shoes. You see, look, they don't know what he's gonna do. He do this a lot though, because Giannis do bring the ball down. Him, and Brian, and now they starting to let Zion do it because he was a point guard in high school. So people are still forgetting that if they don't remember. Okay, so now Giannis got the ball. Um, I think this is Jones right here trying to guard him. Little man on him. So he's trying to fear. Giannis coming down. All Giannis do is this. Everybody gets in their position, okay? There was no screen for him. And Giannis get a little sting. When he get right here, that's when he started his speed burst attack, okay? And he went left. That is Jones. He went left on him and got in the paint and got an and one call. Very interesting. He's so big. And they couldn't do nothing about it. Look at that. Got to the cup. Got the layup right there. So we don't got time to really condense the uh, talk about 
every plan go back and show y'all. So I felt that was very interesting because the game changed moment, as y'all see, they went up uh, shortly after that. Okay, and this was still the first quarter. Okay, the second game changed the moment. Uh, I think it was around that same mark. Hold on, I got to speed up because I didn't write the time down. I think it's around uh, for two of two plays. I didn't write the game game time time down. Oh my God, I'm, I'm unorganized today. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna get right to it. This was it was at this point it was thirty to twenty seven. I do know that it was thirty. It was the second quarter. So let's go to the second quarter. Um. And this was another game changer more. I felt I felt this was very interesting. It was very interesting as I was taking them. Here we go. It's right here. Okay, this came within eleven minutes and thirty six seconds. Let me write that down. Just in case I have to use it for later references. But um Giannis brings the ball down once again on a fast break. Let's go back just a little bit because he got the ball right there. And let's start let's go where the play initially started it. Okay. Okay. So here we go. John got the ball, 11 minutes and 36 seconds uh, to be exact, you did. And what he do? Okay, John, he brings the ball down, okay? John uh, brings the ball down. Or he drives the ball down, brings it down, however you want to say it. Off an inbound play, the same type of play. Drives down, goes left again, and gets another end one call. Um, and this just shifted the momentum all the way into the Bucks' favor, and they just pretty much took over the game um second third quarter and uh there's you no know, some great moments and stuff and we're gonna get to it and the, the pelicans they was fighting back hard they was fighting back hard okay so let's go right back to it let's go to it here we go same thing but this time he's not in the center of the court he's on the outside and uh i don't know who is guarding him all right it's hayes or i forget who this player is right here but now he got the ball again. Same. Look at all this open spacing right here. That should be more people in the paint right here. But look how the this is all designed for Zion. I mean, not Zion, but for Giannis. And this is called weak side. Okay. Because uh, 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 he is on his weak side. It's left hand side. So that's what the display is called weak side. Okay. And he gonna drive baseline left again. And by the time he get down here, it's going to be too kind of hard to defend him because he's going to stand. He's so big and tall, and his extension is so wide. wide. So it's something kind of hard to stop him. But let's take a look as he get in the paint. Right here, boom. Once he get in the paint right here, that's a jump hook for Giannis. He's so big and tall, and he jumped high. So they did close out on him pretty good. Look at all three defenders. They have the whole team pretty much closing out on him. But when he get down there, boom. Lane's there right there. He got two. Fire in the paint right around this area right here that was too close for comfort and they couldn't stop him when he got in that painted area um i gotta go check and see if that's jay left her bottom in the kids now okay now he got that layup right there got another animal call like i said at this point it was seesaw it was going back and forth for a long time it really was it was going back and forth and um this is where the bus kind of pulled away just a little bit Okay, so now let's go to the third game changer moment. Okay, same thing. It was forty to twenty nine, and it was in the second quarter. So let's let's skim down because I I forgot to write the timestamp down for this play too. Okay, so let's go right down to it. Um, it was forty to twenty nine. Here we go, right here. Okay, now in this play, uh, Zion gets an isolation play against uh, Drew Holiday. He drives right. He spins on him. Okay, uh, uh, spins back on him and then goes left and finishes with a nice finger roll. Okay, and finger roll left handed layup. Uh, and that helped start their comeback. Okay, let's take a look at this play real quick. This was very interesting. It was basically going back and forth between Zion with the highlight plays, the marquee plays. And uh, it was very interesting. I thought this was interesting because uh, Zion is starting to climb that ladder. And he's becoming one of the elite players. Well, you know, like, a, like I already knew he was going to be the face of the, M of the NBA because that's what he is right now. Okay, he is the face of the NBA right now. So I just knew it was going to be a matter of time. Like I said, he is the king of Zamunda right now. Um, and LeBron is the king of his kingdom. Okay, of the James Kingdom. But let me tell y'all something. Um, King James' reign 
is I think about slowly closing. Uh, I'm just keeping it brutally honest. Uh, it's coming to that time, even though he's still superior. He's still superior. Uh, but still, uh, it's going to be kind of tough, man, because, you know, these kids, they're younger, they're stronger, they're faster. LeBron got to do a lot to keep your body, keep his body in shape, okay? Uh, because these these young kids, man, they they genetics and what they eating and stuff. Like get them bowl of cereal, and they blow up like pot pot and they motherfuckers. Okay, but anyway, um, let's go right to this play uh, real quickly. Let's let's see how it all break down. Cause now it's, uh, Zion's turn. Like, like I said, Zion got the ball. He's isolating, facing up on uh, Drew Holiday. Okay, this is a mismatch because he's taller than him. Number one, number two, he big and strong. He can post him up. He can do a lot of things. Uh, in this situation. So let's see what he does. He gets the ball, boom. He drives right. Okay, he left and he's he going to spin back left. And then he gets right in this painted area. He's going to challenge Giannis. Because Giannis coming over right now. He's going to challenge their bigs and see how high they can jump. Watch this. Uh, once he get that, once he get, once he goes right, it's too quick. Spin back left. And he and it was like, it was too late for them. So we had, uh, he caught both of them off guard, and the rest is his story. And he jumped higher than the mother sucker. And as y'all can see, um, Zion in the paint is very explosive. He could have dunked the ball probably if he would got a little closer. And the rest is history. Okay, right there, that changed the game a little bit for the Pelicans, and they start to come back um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so now let's go to the third, but a fourth game changing moment. Okay, the fourth game changer moment came within um, uh, two minutes and 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Like I said, it was a lot of game changer moments in this game. It was a marquee game. And at that point, it was 58 to 54. Like I said, they was on a comeback. They were on a comeback. They've been doing this for years. They was coming back. They was fighting back, breathing. And let me tell y'all something right now, man. Uh, the Pelicans, they they are there. They are they are definitely in there. Brandon Ingram to play like they didn't have Chris Middleton. They didn't have Brandon Ingram, so it was about even. It was about an even match. Like I said, this could be the potential NBA Finals right here. This could be the potential NBA Finals. Let's go down to this timestamp though. Two minutes and twenty five seconds left. In here we go. Right around this mark. Let's go back just a smidgen. Ugh. Yeah, we want to start it right here. Okay. Let's take a look. Like I said, um, um, they came between 2 minutes and 25 seconds left in the second quarter, 58-54. At this point, the Bucks they still they still winning. Okay. Um, Pelicans inbound the ball. Okay. To C.J. McCollum. And he misses a side jumper. Okay. But Jackson uh, Hayes grabs it on the miss for a nasty putback uh, dunk. Okay. A jumper. Or, or I think it was a jumper over two bucks. Yeah, he put it. The jumper back over two bucks, and this ended the half um, for both teams, and they both uh, came back out surging in third quarter. So let's take a look at this play real quick. As y'all can see, it's an inbound play. Ball on the, the ball on the side is over here. So this is just a regular inbound play. This is the inbound right here. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Boom. Play five of the shot clock. So once he slapped that ball, that's what we used to do. I, I was the best inbound on my team. Okay. On it, on Vosity and on Frasa, and um, you know my coach always gave me the ball to inbound, okay, because I was the best inbounder, like I said, on my team. So he gave me the ball to inbound. But that right there, when we snap that ball, mm, that starts to play right there, okay. That starts uh, to play, okay. We slap the ball, y'all heard him slap the ball. Okay, there's a fake right there. So he's looking. This sometimes that's what we do. I only got 24 seconds to do all that stuff. Okay, people think it's easy. Boom. That was the that's the intended target right there. Okay, the play was designed for C.J. McCollum. He got a good look right here. Okay, they didn't expect it to go to him. He got a good look, and look at where his shot range is. Okay, he was in like 12 feet from the basket. He could have drove in and got contact too, but he's taking the better high percentage shot, so you won't get hurt. Okay, that's basically what's going on. Okay, so watch this. Boom. Slip the jab right here because that was P.J. Who was this? P.J. Tucker missed the assignment. Got in the air, got a good look at the basket. He just shot shanked it. And they did recognize it. But look at the putback right there. Was that a dunk? Uh, yeah, it was a dunk. I thought he laid it up, but he dunked it. Jackson Hayes came right over the top. Who was that? Oh, that was Trey Murphy, I think it was. I think it was. That wasn't Jackson Hayes. 
I got the names wrong. That was that was impressive right there. And that team that started the the quarter. No, well, it ended the the the, uh, the 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 second quarter, and it just went right into the third quarter on fireworks. Okay, let's go to the the what's this? The one, two, three, four. This is the fifth game changer moment right here, and this came within seven minutes and nine seconds left in the third quarter. Okay, so like I said, it was seesawing for a minute. Okay, for a minute, and. Afterwards, man, I'm talking about, man, it was going back for. I thought, we got a commercial on the dog, get a coat. They hit them. Okay, somebody ain't finna do me. <laughs> Basically, they did they, Okay. Anyway, let's get back to the play. Let's get back to it. Okay, we, we going down to the time step. Uh, 709. 709. At this point, it was a tough ball game. 82 to 75. I think that's what the score was. Something to that. Back. Let's get down to this timestamp quickly. You did. Okay, seven minutes and nine seconds left uh, in the third quarter. And we almost there. I know it got to be a better way to do this, man, with these timestamps because I'll be looking at these shorties and stuff like that. Maybe having this stuff on point. Okay, uh, especially flight now. And they, okay, so here you go. 8275. Let's go back just a little bit. That's a smidgen because we want to get where the play has actually started. At. Come on. Okay, right here. Boom. Okay, so here we go, man. Now, this I felt to be interesting right here, okay? Because as y'all know, like Zion is my dude, and he's getting a lot of attention. Okay, Zion gets um, <clears throat> Holiday in, a, in a, another spin type of situation. He backs him down. Uh, he goes uh, left, and then after that, he's going right, and then he crosses uh, Giannis uh, after he attempts a steal, okay? And he drives into the painted area uh, going left, okay, because he's a lefty. And then he throws a nice no little pass to Valentunas, and he got left. So basically what happened was, y'all can see right here, just a little bit because it's coming into the play. Let me clear it up a little bit for y'all so y'all can see. Okay, let's get to that play. It's coming right into it. Boom, right here. Now Zion gets the ball, okay. It was a handoff from Valentunas, okay. Let's put it down, Okay. Now what Zion do when he gets the ball, he gonna he gonna come this way and do like a spin back that way, okay. And when he does, and when he when they get down here, okay, he do a spin back and comes back this way. And Giannis tried to go for the steal because they got switched off on the play, okay. Um, Drew ended up picking his man up, and then Giannis had to pick up Zion, but he crossed them over so quick, and that was it right there. That was the whole play was uh, busted for. Him. Uh, their defensive play was busted because they was trying to uh, pretty much switch off and have Giannis. That, that's what they wanted anyway. They wanted Zion. They wanted Giannis to try to uh, you know match up with Zion because they had Drew Holiday on him all night. He was killing them, basically in a nutshell. When I get to the box scores, y'all gonna see it. Probably was not a thirty ball. Okay, so here we go. Zion gets the ball. Boom, right here. It's like a little screen. It's like another slip because he didn't roll really. He just stayed right there and he just spent off that screen. Watch this. Boom. See that? He went that way, faked him out. He got them, they got another screen. It was like another it's a this a pick and roll right here now. Cause the way he faced up, the way he, look at it. when he facing up like that, it's a pick and roll. So he can open up, they call it open up. So watch when he open up. But Zion gonna cross. See? Watch this. That's where he's supposed to open up. That's where he's opening up now. And this was probably supposed to be like a bounce play because he, but Drew Holiday too tight, and Zion recognized that he crossed the hell out of um, Giannis, and just ended up slipping through both of them, and the rest is history. Boom, and that's even the, the even the announcers was, they were surprised like wow that was an incredible move because he recovered because the play they they play was busted they also the play was busted. Zion, he still ended up getting the ball to where it was supposed to be anyway. To Valentino's, he got the list. So we're going to take a look at that one again. That's all entirety because that's incredible. That's good court awareness. Like I said, Zion was a point guard in high school. So a lot of teams, a lot of these players, they don't know about him like that, really. Okay? But they they, they surely learn it. Okay? Look at that. See right there? That's incredible right there. Okay, they, they he got good court awareness, and like I said, he gonna end up like slowly but surely maturating into LeBron James. Okay, because a lot of people don't know he can pass the ball because he was a point guard. 
But they just think about him just, you know, he driving, he dunking and stuff like that. But they don't know he got a whole he got. But anyway, like I said, this was incredible. Like, he get the ball. They let him handle the ball more. He's going to start handling it a little bit more, too, as time progresses along. So, he gets the ball. Boom. Okay. It was like a, like a, it was a handoff. He go right into, like, a, this is supposed to have been, like, a another pick and roll type of situation. But watch how Valentunas and Zion work this play. Look at this. Mm, look at that. Now, this, this was a double type of uh, pick or screen because Zion spent off of it because the first one was on his side. Then when he went that way, he just spent back that way just to give him a little space and just to, to separate himself from the defense. And then John tried to, he picked up on it, but he crossed him over. He got ball handling skills too. So you got to be careful. Boom. The rest of history, down the paint, down the drop, pistol ray, okay? Now we're going to go to... Um, we got two more. I mean, one more. One, two, three. We got three more. I'm gonna call. I gotta tell. Actually, I'm calling in a few minutes. Hold on. Okay. So now we going to the sixth game changing moment in this game right here. This, like I said, this was the marquee game last night because they displayed a lot of skills, and it was it came on it came down to the stars. Okay, basically, okay, this came within five minutes and twenty five seconds left in the second quarter. Okay, uh, or third quarter. I mean third quarter. And like I said, y'all see it was action throughout the whole game. This right here was from from. Um, from start to finish, it was all about good coaching. It was all about uh, individual, uh, like, ISO um, situations and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go, man. Um, 86-77, 5 minutes, 25 seconds left in the third quarter, okay? Now, look, Zion, he gets uh, a post-up on holiday, okay? Uh, he sees the double team coming, okay? And then... Uh, he does a he does a bounce pass, uh, passes it to Valentino who is in the in the paint, and he passes it. Okay, this was a team ball movement thing right here. This was a good uh, uh, play because it showed good ball movement, and, and it's like you're supposed to get five touches. They said in order to have a good shot, that's what every team supposed to do. At least get five touches or four, and get yourself freed up. Like I said, the ball will kill you. Okay, the passing the ball around will kill. Any defense, okay. First, that's what they always thought of pass the ball, okay. Move the ball around. So that's basically what happened. So, um, he came off a double team and he uh bounced past it, uh, to Valentunas. It was like a nice little bounce pass in the paint area. Valentunas could have took like a jump shot, um, because he was right there in the paint and he was so close. And that's what the announcer said, Why he didn't take the shot? He took the shot, but he looked in the corner, he seen Jones over there. Right over here, you see Jones right over here. Then he skipped past it over. This is Trey Murphy. Uh, this is, uh, uh, who is this? I think this is, uh, this is CJ McCollum. Then he skipped past over Trey Murphy. Because so it all came back to him anyway. Because I think that's what, you know, the first play was initiated for Valentino, but it ended up getting to him. Okay, now watch this play. Here we go. Ryan, he bounced past him in the paint. That, look how close he is to the paint. I'm into the, into the basket. But it was contested, though, pretty good. Okay, so he skipped past it back out. That was over to Jones. Jones, CJ McCollum, CJ McCollum over to Trey. Knocked it down. Okay, that right there kind of changed the game because they was trying to get back into it after the being down. Um, just by a little bit. Okay, now this broke it all open right here. Okay, um, uh, well, uh, this was like the seventh game changing moment, and it came within 10 minutes. Left in the fourth quarter. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, ten minutes left in the fourth quarter, and this—I mean, it was still was kind of tight, but at this point, uh, the Bucks had their card. They had their number, and they really couldn't do anything. Uh, I just found these plays to be really interesting. Y'all need to see these plays that these coaches was running. Man, this was incredible. Okay, here we go. Okay, so watch this right here. Drew, Holl Drew Holiday is setting up a play, calls for a pick, gets switched off on Zion. Zion's Giannis coming 
from across the other side of the court. He, okay, because this all was designed on this side. Okay, um, he called up a pick, got switched off on Zion. That was the person that's supposed to be guarding him anyway. And then he called um, Giannis as he come back this way, coming across the lane from way over there and threw a pass, zip pass into him. Giannis comes slicing right through the lane, getting nicely dunked. They couldn't stop it. So watch this play. Okay, Drew Holiday, he gets the pick. Once he gets that pick, boom, they thought he was going right there. But he's saying, look how everybody collapsed on. Nobody was really paying attention. Good court awareness right there. That's a good PG move right there. Boom, down dropped it over to uh, Giannis. Giannis could have went this way or came into the paint this way, which he did, going left. Got in the paint. <clears throat> they couldn't stop it right there because nobody, there was nobody to defend that in the paint area. That was really interesting. That was a great, great play. And that right there, that was the ice cream cake, really right there. But this just topped it all right here. Okay, this the eighth game changed among the last one. And it came within four minutes and 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter, man. Like I said, this was a great game. The marquee game, I think, of the night because I didn't get a chance to see nothing else. Because I was trying to, well, I did see uh, LaMelo Ball. I know that was the night before when um, Nick Kyle Jokic came into town and just blew their ass out. Okay, but anyway, uh, I was trying to do the, the two minute one thing, two minute uh, clips, but they hating on me. <laughs> they don't want me to do the Chris moves, though. I'm already like that, brother. I've been announcing. But anyway, let's get to this one right here. This is the last game changing moment right here. Came with them, like this tight ball game. They was going, they was coming back. They was fighting, back breathing, what I call it. Uh, 116, 108, four minutes left in, in, in the fourth quarter. Uh, Valanchunas passes it to Zion. This time he brings, I think Zion, he begins uh, a post up. Uh, um, oh, I think this is when he brought it down. No, it was a play I missed. I, I missed the play because Zion came down. He, he, he actually brought the ball down one time and he did a play. Um, Pelicans inbound ball to CJ. Drive, such and such, such, such. Zion gets an isolation play. John, it was a play, but I know uh, G uh, uh, Zion brought it down and he attacked him. That's, that was the last game. But anyway, uh, Valentine passes it to Zion. Zion begins a post up. Um, once he does the post up, um, he drives left and flicks it up with a light left hand move going into the back. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, okay, now you see Valentine's skip past over to Zion, Zion gets the ball, bags down inside, got a nice little, see how you tear drop floated off the bad boy, he got a nice little jump with C Deuce, but I think it was another play when, when Zion came down, um, it was another play where he, he got an inbound play, he, he did the same thing that Jonathan was doing the whole game, came all the way down, Speed burst into the lane and got a layup or something. Uh, I don't know where it was at. It was around here somewhere, but I think I forgot. I wrote. I, I didn't write it down or something. I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, this was a really good game, man. This was a skill game, uh, very incredible basketball game, and I can say uh, they they showed up, man. The stars showed up, man. Even though they was minus Chris Middleton and. Brandon Ingram, like, I don't know what the injuries to the severity of his injury, but anyway, let's get to this uh, box score real quick. I gotta call SJ. Okay, okay. I gotta go down here and check. Let's see if I want to call. Okay, man, so as y'all know, man, we start with the losing team first, as always. So, with that being said, man, we gotta start with the Pelicans. Okay, anyway, the Pelicans. Um, hi, man. For the Pelicans, man, my main man. Okay, my main man, Hornets Valentunis. Um, he logged 37 minutes and two seconds on that night. Your boy scored 37 points and 18 rebounds, five assists, one steal. He shot 14 for 24 from the field. Uh, ended up shooting 58.3 percent for his field goal percentage, and your boy um, shot seven for 10 from the three-point line. Finishing with 70% shooting on three 
from the arc that night, man, two for two for three. He, he pretty much was the MVP if they would have won the game. He had a hell of a, 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 a performance, like Bernie Mac would say. Dang. Okay, and then right behind him, man, uh, CJ McCollum lost 41 minutes and six seconds on the night. He had 31 points, eight rebounds, nine assists, almost had a trip dug. Uh, shot 11 for 24 from the field. Finished with 45.8% for his field goal percentage. Um, shot six for ten for three, six percent shooting on three, uh, uh, six percent shooting uh, on that night for three point uh, shooting, and that was impressive. And then to rally it all up, man, Zion had 18, then get 30, but he had 18, seven and seven, and Troy Murphy had 13. Now let's go to the winning team, man. Um, oh my God, man, the Milwaukee Bucks, man, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he lost 33 minutes and 56 seconds on that night. The boy had 42 points, 10 rebounds, one assist. Um, he shot 12 for 17 from the field, uh, finished with 70% uh, 70.6% on field goal shooting, shot one for three, um, uh, from the three, and he finished with how much was his uh, shooting percentage on the three? Uh, we don't need to see that's terrible, okay? So we don't need to uh, report that because I don't want to report nothing negative about the no, we finna report that he finished with 33.3% uh, on three point shooting. Okay, that ain't too bad because he really didn't put no temps up. Okay, and then right behind him, B. Lopez. I keep getting these boys. Is this Brooke Lopez? Yeah, this is Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez, he uh, lost 35 minutes and 15 seconds on the night. Your boy scored 30 points, had 7 rebounds, 3 assists. He shot 12 for 17 from the field. And he ended up shooting 7.6%. For a field goal percentage, he shot four for nine from the three point arc, finishing with 44.4, shooting better than 44.4 percent on three point shooting. And to wrap it all up, Drew Holiday, man, true MVP, the captain of that team, really to me, 18 points and 11. And uh, Cottahan had 11 points. Okay, that's it for the sports rundown show, man. Hey, man, that's another episode, man, the sports rundown show. I want to do few more but i was trying to do the two minute thing i'm gonna figure it out man because i don't know what's going on you won't let me watch the video stuff like that on here okay let me watch on the tablet on the telephone they just hate no <laughs> okay we're talking we're gonna get up out of here man and it's your boy lc the one baby lc the one reaction you did aka it'll matter for a two four and not the mother sucker gang numbers man but my actual jersey number i wore when i was hooping in high school and my one more jersey right here on the back of my Mother sucker one does spin. Like I always say, man, keep it perfect. And the voice perfect. Because they will get your mother sucking ass if you slip on that mother sucking banana pill. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, touch me wherever you Before we be shout out to my else next man, it's game about some crew. I need to like this video. <laughs> Share this video. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Comment on this video, man. Most importantly, while I'm man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn that notification bell button on. Ding, 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 ding. It's Christmas. To get more exclusive sports rundowns from your sports rundown guru. Like I always say, trust me, I'm going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll see y'all next sports rundown episode. Yeah. <laughs> we out of here, man. You did.